Hi, I'm Gabriella from iSolutions, and today I'm going to be showing you the collections management tool inside of Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central. So to get started, I'm going to open up Business Central and go to the Collections Manager. This page is going to show me all of my customers with open invoices, both current and past, too. It's going to show me the total amount that they owe, and it's also going to break down the amount for each bucket. If I scroll over to the right, I'm going to be able to take a look at the last note that I made on the customer and who made it. If I click on this little eye here, I'm going to be able to see all the reminders that I have for this particular customer. And all the interactions that I have for them as well. It looks like we've spoken via phone and email quite a few times. And if I scroll down, I'm also going to be able to take a look at the customer statistics. So one more thing to look at on this page. Um, if you look at the days outstanding, it's going to show you each bucket. And if I were to click into one of these buckets, the grid will dynamically change to show me all of the customers that make up that bucket. Now, if you like reporting, um, if you like having everything in an Excel document, you can click on reports and then you can export everything into an Excel file for yourself. So let's go ahead and open up a customer. This page has a whole bunch of features um, that you might find useful for your particular company. Um, you can also get to this tool by going into the customer record and then selecting actions and collections. So the first thing we can go over here is this notes tab. Um, first thing you can do is select an action ID. So let's say I spoke to this customer via email um, and they let me know all, all they would pay all their past due invoices by March 1st. You can select a reminder date for myself for March 1st. And that that'll be good to go and get out of here. You can also do the same for specific invoices. So let's say I'd like to make a note for these two invoices. Let's say the customer and I spoke on the phone and it will pay by Wednesday. Select the reminder date, Wednesday. You can go scroll over to the right and you can see them here. A couple other features for this, you can pay any invoices. So let's say your customer calls in and says, hey, I'd like to pay invoice ending in 728. You can select that invoice and select I payments and click yes. Select the card on the account and hit OK. And then you can click capture. You can do this for multiple invoices. Um, you can do them all at the same time. Um, but once you do, it'll let you know that one cash receipt journal was created and that invoice will fall off. Another thing you can do is choose to email them. So let's say you'd like to email them these two invoices and say, select them and just click send email. You can change who is getting receiving the email. You can change the subject. You can make a one-time change to the message. So let's just say, make it a little bit more personal there. Scroll down and you'll see the invoices that are being attached. You can also attach a file if you'd like, if you have a statement of work or something like that. Once you do that, you hit send email. Let me go ahead and open up my email and see if it's come through. So this is the receipt that I paid for the last invoice ending in 728. This is what your customer will receive. Let's go ahead and open it up. Uh, exactly what they'll receive. You'll be able to see that they have their last four there, how they paid. And this is the past due invoices email that they should receive as well. So they can go into it, see that what they owe, and click to pay. They'll be brought to your page. You can enter their credit card number. And click authorize payment. Let's 
So let's give it a second. All right, so it's going to let you know that the payment was approved and your customer will receive an email. Let me go back to my email, see if I've got it. There we go. Let me know that that invoice was paid. One last feature we can go over. Is collection plans. So you can set up your own collection plan. Let's, I already have this one set up, standard. Um, the first email will go out um, within five days. So five days to the day it's due. That's known as a reminder email for this template. And then past due is anything after. Um, so your customer will be able to receive a template that you custom create um, and let them know that, hey, this needs to be paid or hey they have an upcoming payment due um, so you can create as many of those as you want you can have a third you can have a fourth um, you know you might want it zero to 30 30 to 90 um, whatever your business would like to do um, but that is an option and then once you do that you can go ahead and let me just revert that change you can go ahead and assign it to each customer so let's just say i'd like it to, for this customer i'll click yes and this customer is now assigned this collections plan. So um, this one doesn't look like they have one yet. So I'll just click assign. And they are now assigned a collections plan. If you have any other questions, feel free to reach out to us. Um, we have an email, it's support at isolutionsgroup.com or you can go to our website, isolutionspayments.com. Thank you.